No sooner does Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny touch down in Russia and he's detained. He's being detained and he faces a, a large number of legal problems now that he's back in Russia. Now, Alexei Navalny was this guy who was allegedly poisoned by Novichok, the deadliest nerve agent ever conceived by the human mind. And he was allegedly poisoned by, by the Kremlin, who was trying to bump him off. But as I've pointed out, Alexei Navalny is one of the most unpopular opposition figures that the U.S. is backing around the globe. Uh, in, in Russia, hardly anyone even knows who he is. And even the people who know who he is don't like him. Most people don't like him. And so his legal problems are, are, are surrounding a previous uh, prison sentence that he was given and had suspended, but there were, he was on probation basically, and he had to check in uh, to, so that they could make sure that he wasn't violating the terms of his probation. And he, he failed to check in five times and or at least five times. And this was a, a legal case involving embezzlement, which is ironic because Alexei Navalny likes to bill himself as an anti-corruption activist when, when he himself is extremely corrupt. And of course, working for foreign governments to undermine his own nation's sovereignty and political stability. However ineffective he is at doing that. And so uh, they're thinking about actually putting him in prison, you know, taking his probation away and putting him in prison. And that's the whole point here is that, number one, he's extremely unpopular and ineffective as an op opposition figure. Number two, the legal system in Russia is extremely lenient. They could put him behind bars for years if they wanted to, but they, but they haven't. Uh, and, and the third thing is, they claimed that he was poisoned by this extremely deadly nerve agent, and yet he's in perfect health. Uh, and I want to point this out, just in case you don't believe me. This is, um, this is December 24, 2020 from Reuters. Half a Russian skeptical Kremlin critic Navalny was poisoned. So half a Russians don't even think he was poisoned or that if he was... It was stage managed by Western intelligence services. And, and again, this is how unpopular Alexei Navalny is. And who was the polling organization that, that conducted this poll? It was the Levada Center. And I've talked about the Levada Center in the past. It's funded by the US government through the National Endowment for Democracy. Go, go to this page. Uh, Russia polling for democracy, the Yuri Levada Analytical Center, a NED grantee based in Moscow. So I just wanted to point this out. Uh, they're going to keep using Alexei Navalny as this political pawn against Russia. Uh, the big thing that he was supposed to do was to help derail the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. That is a project that's being built uh, in cooperation between Germany and Russia. And it was funny that when Alexei Navalny was allegedly poisoned, uh, his his team flew him directly to Germany and they utilized this very shadowy, bizarre NGO that does medical flights for people. And it flew him to Germany specifically. Of, of all places they could have sent him, they sent him to Germany. And when he arrived in Germany, it was funny that, you know, the U.S. government said, hey, Russia tried to kill this guy with nerve agent and you're still going to build a pipeline with him. It was it was very obvious what the U.S. was trying to do. And it's very obvious who was behind this whole Novichoke poisoning incident. Very, very obvious. And despite their best efforts, Alexei Navalny remains an extremely unpopular, untrusted, ineffective opposition figure in Russia. Now that he's back in Russia, I think Russia is going to demonstrate that if they wanted to get rid of him, they could just use any of the numerous legal cases they have against him. And instead of letting him off the hook time and time again, they can just put him behind bars where he, where he probably is better off for, for his own safety and for the safety of the people around him. If he was really poisoned, it was most likely Western intelligence agents who did it. Uh, he should be very concerned for his own safety. He's an extremely unpopular, 
ineffective opposition figure backed by the U.S. If you were in the U.S. spending money on promoting Alexei Navalny and he could get absolutely nothing done in Russia while alive, maybe they thought he would be better off sick or maimed or even dead. Uh, so this is the problem. Being a foreign-funded agitator, you, you might be worth more to your sponsors dead than alive at, at a certain point if you live past your, your usefulness. Um, agitators here in Thailand should should try to keep that in mind. Not not only the the U.S. backing them, but the billionaire-led opposition that backs the opposition here in Thailand. They have a long history of killing anyone that inconveniences them, and it doesn't matter whose side they're on. So this is something to keep in mind. You, if you get involved with bad people, bad things are probably going to happen to you. I think Alexei Navalny is the, the poster child of this. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on Alexei Navalny and the Russian opposition, uh, and you know all the games the US is still going to try to play to, to keep Russia contained and encircled and to sabotage Russia's ties with its neighbors. We'll, we'll keep an eye on all of that. Uh, if you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Think about subscribing to my channel. It's totally free to do and it helps the channel grow and I greatly appreciate that. Check the video description for all the links to the references that I used for this video. And there's also some links there on how you can help support my work like through Patreon. Not only through Patreon do you help support my work month to month, but as a patron, you get extra benefits and content in return. And we're, we're kind of trying to build a community around this work where you can participate in the discussion, give some ideas for future videos, and, and have some input. Uh, so I would really like to see more people joining in on that community. And to everyone everywhere who is helping in any way, Thank you so much. I cannot do this without my audience. And as always, thank you for watching.